the philosopher Lao Tzu once said, "The highest goodness is like water. Water easily benefits all things without struggle. Water is soft and easygoing. Cities and towns are born near the rivers and have nurtured thousands of years of Chinese civilization." The ancient walking people not only used the rivers to meet daily needs, but also to shape to promote China's economic development. The C4 Exhibition Hall on the third floor of the Shandong Art Museum have displayed a beautiful scene of the canal. The Grand Canal flows through the Wujiang and irrigates the land full of vitality here. Wujiang relies on rivers for its living, and is divided into districts according to rivers, which has nurtured the unique canal civilization. The artistic inspiration comes from the nutrition of the Huai River and the Southern Yer Canal. When we refer rivers in China, we will immediately think of our mother river. The Yellow River. The Yellow River is the cradle of China and the birthplace of Chinese civilization. Water is the source of life. Chinese people. Relied on rivers to create a long history of canal culture, which has left a historic mark for the development of economics and business, as well as the inheritance of ancient civilization in China and other neighbors. Water can carry both, even everything. Chinese people use Silk Road on sea and land for economic and trade exchanges. Russia is one of the first major countries to actively respond to the PRI. Russia supports the Belt and Road Initiative. The two powers will see common interest through the PRI. The wisdom of Chinese working people for thousands of years, which like an endless flowing water, has burst as the vitality of China. And driving force between trade. In recent years, the continuously developed Arctic Road has further deepened the trade partnership between China and Russia, and also enhanced the economic development and the inheritance and the promotion of the canal culture.